Hi, I'm Louise and I'm here today to show you the tricky parts of building the xylophone player. So on page six, before you assemble this section, it's very important to use the wax candle across the surface of here and all around the edge of the triangle cam. And then really, really buff up to a high slippery surface these edges that I'm showing you, just so they move against each other without any problem. Then hold, but don't glue this part roughly at the end of this section. And put a piece of 6mm shaft, one of the pieces that you've been supplied with, it doesn't matter which one, through the triangle cam into that groove. And then just gently turn it and you want it to clear It'll move up and down within the groove. You want it to clear that part, but not by too much, because if it's too loose, it will stop the arms coming up and down later on. But you don't want it to be too tight that it can't swing through. Most of the time, being level with the bottom is usually the right position, but it's always best to check because the cameras might be slightly different with their points. Right, we're on page eight, and I just want to show you the assembly of uh, the items along the main shaft. You've already waxed this cam that's going to go inside here. Also wax the outside of this, it's got an offset cam and the other triangular cam that you've got. Right, now it's a simple matter of following the instructions with the parts you need to thread on, one at a time, without glue. along the main shaft and then push out the other side. Right, we're on page 11. I just want to show you, get this triangle cam that's under here with its flat surface against the flat surface of this. So there's the high point, there's the low point in the flat. Then put a little bit of glue in line with this pillar. I've gone a bit ahead of myself and put this on. Move this triangular cam along, twisting it through the glue and get it exactly in line with that pillar and have the point upwards. So you've got that triangular cam with a flat there, this triangular cam with a point up. And move that along to push against the glue. And then put some glue at the other end. It's a bit of a fiddle. And move this circular cam, twisting it as you get it through the glue. And you have that, if you can see, pointing sideways and then leave to dry. Right we're on page 14 and I just wanted to show you how to put the glue on this collar. Just if you've got a, a cocktail stick or something similar just put some glue on the end and run it just around the bottom half of the inside of the collar. Wipe any excess that's dribbled onto the lower surface you don't want any on there. And just drop it down into there and push hard down. You have the um, glue shield underneath in place allowing a space which will be taken out later and then just put that to one side to dry. So on page 15 um, you should have an addendum in with your xylophone player telling you to just mark 125 on this shaft with the hole at the top because you only want a small amount of this shaft going into that hole when you glue it in. So run the glue around the bottom edge. And if you've got it, a piece of super glue, just to help speed up the drying process, and just twizzle it down to your pencil line. To stop it sinking further, it might be best to just temporarily tip the model onto its back until the glue takes hold and then stand it back up and just make sure it's very important that it is 
completely perpendicular in both directions. It's very important. And then leave to dry. So page 16, uh, you've assembled the chest. Just wanted to make a comment how important it is that this block, once you've constructed it, should drop up and down in there as freely as that. If it doesn't, if there's any kind of catching by the block, front or back, or even at the side, just sand and wax all around until it will drop that. There's no point in putting the model together any further until you've got it working like that because it won't work later on. Just wanted to show how I glue this large assembly at the bottom. Put some glue along the base. And with this cam here pointing up vertically, bring this back. You've got to engage that bamboo that's sticking out underneath in the groove. And just bring this across over the glue you've put down. So that it lines up with that. And then when you turn the handle, that will make this rock backwards and forwards. Just make sure we've got that central. Then you use some glue on the upper surface of this piece and slide in as shown underneath. It's just to help ensure it doesn't rock out of position, just to guide it there. And I'll also just show you uh, here, you've got to the point where you've put the stool top on and this, and this is the action you should be getting. That should be good jumping up and down and this large piece, you can probably just about see it with the grain, is actually turning backwards and forwards. And it should be as smooth and free running as that. Right, we're on page 20. Uh, just put the glue guard there and turn the handle so that this pin that's coming through here is dead, dead central, which is when this cam is pointing upwards. So this is going to enable you to get the movement from side to side of the xylophone plate equal, which is why it's important. It's central. Then just run some glue on the bottom inside, five mil or so of that. Wipe any excess that might have run out. And just drop the body down. You want him, as you can see, to be straight with the back. And just check that pin's going forward equally. And if you like, you can, oops, drop this in and leave to dry. At page 26, uh, the building of the xylophone player, uh, it uh, mentions that the hole must be uppermost. It's just referring to the fact that these holes drilled in these parts that run all the way through are not quite central. And it actually means the holes need to be uppermost towards the uh, bars at the top. And I assemble the whole thing off the model, uh, which is slightly different to what is shown in the instructions. But then I lift it up, and as you turn the handle, sometimes it could be slightly left or slightly right, depending on how accurately you drill, you glue to this body. So just glue this, either slightly to the left or slightly to the right, uh, depending on how far over. So in this case, I'm going to move it that way and then leave it to dry. Right, page 31, uh, putting the head, the last uh, part of it. Uh, turn the handle so that you're looking at this thin 3 mil bamboo coming out, is at its highest point coming out of there, which is coincidentally when the point of the triangle is upwards underneath. Then you get this a tiny part with a three mil hole in. Put some wax on the bottom of it to make sure it doesn't stick to where you're about to put it. And put a tiny dab of glue inside the hole. Use your finger to 
wipe off any excess and push down on there so completely flat with that and leave for quite some time to dry. Now once it's dried you need to make that level. It's probably up to two or three mils sticking out the top. If you've got some little snippers snip the top off and sand it down or try and get some rough sandpaper and just sand it down level but you need it to come down level with the top of that space that you've just glued in place. So you've still got this with a flat against the underside of here, the lowest position. Wax this sloping surface of his neck and the same with the underside of this head. Wax that and then really buff it so it's very very slippery because they're going to slide against each other which you'll see in a minute, and you, and you want them to be able to just literally glide across like that. So, with this in its lowest position, drop that down till it hits the neck, then put the head on, and push this peg through, and the head should be in a vertical position. Then with a very sharp pencil, reach in and either from the front or the back, mark the position of where the neck tube comes through then poke that out oops sorry remove the head move this carefully put a little bit of glue on that neck beneath the uh, marked line that you've done put a glue guard so, and just gently Push that down to your mark and then lift that out and leave to dry. When that's dried you can then glue the head back on with its peg and glue the face on the front.